A bond is just a loan to a corporation or to a government. When you purchase a bond, you are loaning money to a corporation or a government. When dealing with the math of bonds, two pieces of great news. The first one is that it works in the real world. So this is not just theoretical stuff that we learn. It's something that actually works. Now we are only going to learn the basics, not everything. The second piece of good news is that the math of bonds is just like any time value of money question. The only difference is that we use different terms to refer to the five variables. First we have the maturity date or when it comes due. This could be expressed as a time or a date. So we could say it's a 10 year bond or it's coming due in 2030, assuming it is currently 2020. It's important to note that almost all bonds are semi-annually compounded and you're going to always assume that they are unless told otherwise. They're almost always semi-annually compounded you're, and you're going to assume that they are unless you're told otherwise. So that's going to impact your maturity date, your yield to maturity and your coupon or your payment. So maturity date is just your N. Yield to maturity is how much you're actually earning on the bond and this is your IY. Your market value is how much you're paying for it right now, today. So that would seem obvious that that's your price. Sorry, that is your present value. The coupon rate is the one that could be a little bit confusing because it is expressed as a percentage, but all you use it for is to calculate the payment. It's not your IY. It's never going to be your IY unless by coincidence they're both the same number. You're never going to use your coupon rate as your IY. Your IY is always the yield to maturity. The coupon rate, you use the formula of coupon percentage equals coupon dollars divided by face value. If you didn't catch that, not a problem, it's in the slides. But coupon percentage equals coupon dollars divided by face value. So you can rearrange the formula to solve for dollars if you are given the rate. And finally, face value, which is the same as maturity value, which is the same as principal. That's how much you're going to get some days. So that's your future value. Watch out because you'll think face value, future value, same thing. That makes absolute sense. But you might hear principal and think, well, if face value is future value, principal is present value. No, nope. your principal is your the same as face value, is the same as maturity value, is the same as future value. And this is almost always $1,000. And again, you're going to assume it's $1,000 unless you're specifically told otherwise. So let's look at an example to help us understand. So we've got a 10-year bond. Similar bonds are paying 5%. This bond has a coupon of 4%. What should we pay for it? Well, first thing you always do when looking at any kind of mathematical question is you write out your variables. And then start with what you know. It may be that you only know one thing, but you should know at least one thing. So for example, let's look at the date or let's look at the end. It's a 10 year bond. So it's 10. Remember that it's semi-annual. So we do have to multiply by two. Remember that it's semi-annual. We do have to multiply by two. So if it pays twice a year and it's 10 years, how many times will it pay? 20 times. When it says similar bonds are paying 5%, bonds ratings agencies rate bonds anywhere from AAA on down. So if you have a triple B bond, you should earn the same amount as another triple B bond. That's the same as your yield to maturity or your rate. So five, again, it's semi-annual. If you get 5% a year, how much are you earning per payment? The price is the present value and that's what we're trying to solve for. Payment, so remember the formula, your coupon percentage is equal to your coupon dollars over your face value. Now we know the coupon percentage, it's 4%. We want to know the coupon dollars. 
we know the face value it's always a thousand dollars so when we solve for coupon dollars we would get forty dollars forty dollars a year but it pays twice a year so we get twenty face value always going to be a thousand unless you tell otherwise unless I tell you otherwise so we plug this all into the calculator and we solve for present value in this case present value nine hundred and twenty two dollars and five cents I wrote a negative there well if we're buying the bond it's costing us money we're taking money out of our bank account our bank account is negative does this make sense well other bonds are paying five percent this one's only paying four so I'm not gonna pay full value it should be selling at a discount which it indeed is